to fifth gear. Today we are pitting two top-end SUVs against each other in our 4x4 dogfight. You want SUV excess? Look no further, we have two beautiful examples. Behold, this. It's blue. It's the Range Rover Sport SVR. Land Rover virtually invented off-roading and claimed this is the world's most capable performance SUV. A 0-62 time of 4.5 seconds and a top speed of 176. The base model cost is just a shade under 100 grand. And it has the biggest wheels and least subtle body kit. And this is the Bentayga, Bentley's first ever car in this class. We have the ultimate W12 model, capable of getting to 62 in four seconds and going on to 187 miles an hour. So it's quicker and faster and more expensive than the SVR. Even with no extras, it costs £165,000. With both of these cars being range-topping models and both of them gunning for the same affluent market, we thought we'd push them head-to-head -to, -head to find out which one ultimately is the most accomplished. Today we're going to test them on the track and on the road, but first, Johnny is going to see how they get on with some roughly tufty terrain. Now, you may be thinking who in their right mind is going to take such expensive hardware off-roading, but they both boast 4x4 capability, so it's our duty to test it. And anyway, if I was paying 100 grand plus, I'd want my luxury SUV to cope with anything. On the one hand, what we're doing right now feels completely fish out of water. It does with this particular car. I feel that this should be down a high street somewhere, not yeah. off-roading. But despite this, the SVR is still loaded with all of Land Rover's off-road tech. This has got seven off-road modes, actually. Seven? Yeah. You've got gravel, grass, snow. Keep your eyes on the road, please, Johnny. <laughs> Mud ruts, sand or rock crawl. These off-road modes are designed to make the Range Rover as idiot-proof as possible. So I'm going to do my best to put them to the test. Oh, my gosh. I, can't, I, I, can't look I don't know if I should be going down that. I'm worried I'm just going to take that off, entire SVR body kit off the front. This is the weird thing. I mean... Oh, it's, it feels wrong. That's a leg cock. Oh, you've definitely cocked a leg there. Oh, oh, oh. I think that's cocky-leggy. <laughs> oh, cocky-leggy, <laughs> sir. But as our off-road excursion continued, our reservations faded. The more we're going along, the more I'm feeling that I'm in a hardcore Range Rover and not something that's been sort of slightly blinged up. It's not a sheep in wolf's clothing. Mountain goat? A mountain goat in wolf's clothing. <laughs> that's what it is. So, despite the sporting upgrades, the Range Rover's off-roading DNA remains strong. Can Bentley's first ever attempt at a performance SUV possibly compete with that sort of 4x4 heritage? Do you know the best part about this Bentley? <laughs> it's getting in it so you don't have to see the outside of it. <gasps> We've got it set on an off-road mode that's uh, appropriate, I think. Have we got yes, some yeah. dirt and gravel? Yeah, we've got four different settings and, of course, you can up the air suspension all the way yep. to the top. Which actually gives it greater oh. ground clearance than the SVR. You've got to love its gaudiness. Yeah. It's not a petite little thing that's got flicks and wings. But whether you like the Bentayga's looks or you don't, its curvaceous design was certainly giving me a few worries off-road. I can't, I can't actually see at all. OK. Visibility just, it's sort of, the bodywork drops away. I tell you what, though, it's not bottoming out at all. The steering's considerably lighter than the SVR. Oh, is it? OK. Yeah. The throttle response is weird. It's just a little bit too sensitive and a bit too eager. On these really slow sections, where I'm just trying to gently creep up it and not lose traction. Yeah. It's, it's, it's wanting to go. Oh, there's a big of a leg cop. But after 30 minutes driving through the Welsh forest, the Bentley was still going strong. I think this is a deeply impressive car, considering yeah. Bentley don't really make off-roaders. Yeah. But I still truly feel that the Range Rover has got it licked off-road. The Range Rover was making easier work of it. Round one to the Range Rover off-road. I think, by a narrow margin, Range yeah. Rover has it. <laughs> <laughs> 